Last year, Nancy Wilson became one of more than a million people in 2008 to be told she had cancer. I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, February 2008. One year ago this month, Nancy and her husband left their home in Manchester and came to the Hope Lodge here in Lexington. Here's where I stayed. It was one day I came home from my treatment, I slept six hours, you know, during the day. So radiation really takes a lot out of you. And if you had to drive two hours and then do that, it would be hard. Not to mention expensive on top of already mounting medical bills. The stress of traveling and the expense of traveling would have been there on me had I not had this place to come to. You don't even have to buy a detergent, garbage bags, you know. It's a nice clean room. You just go to your treatments every day. If you don't have a ride, they have a shuttle that'll take you there. But there's something else about the Hope Lodge that patients will find here, and they need look no further than the name. It provides a lot of hope to people who need it. Nancy often found hers in the kitchen. This is the kitchen and the dining room where we spent many hours visiting. What did you cook in here? What was your Well, <laughs> I wasn't a very good cook. I just ate what everybody else cooked. We had one person that that had fried potatoes all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, and he would share his fried potatoes with everybody. Of course, you make lots of friends over in the dining room. And that's the idea behind the Hope Lodge, a relatively new concept for the American Cancer Society. We want this to be a home-like environment. We want this to be a second home for cancer patients to come. As the director of the Hope Lodge, Sheldon Cozy can see the impact it has on the patients that come here. The support system here is just unreal. Uh, when you have cancer patients who are talking to other cancer patients and sometimes they learn they're going through the same thing and they compare treatments and they talk about how each other is doing, it really that's what makes the Hope Lodge so special. You have that special bond because they are going through the same thing you are. I really didn't want to go home. <laughs> um, it was a, kind of a sad day. It may be hard to understand for some, but for others, no Hope Lodge would mean no cancer treatment. Just imagine you know, not having that option of having cancer treatment and having to choose whether or not to do treatment based on whether you can afford to have lodging or not. You just never know when you might be the one that will need it.